Yo, 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 what is up, Halo community? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. A bunch of HCS codings just got leaked. Uh, we're going to take a look at them, as well as a few of them that might actually potentially be future Twitch drops. But before we get into this, if you guys can hit that sub and like button, as it shows your support, keeps me doing these videos. Now, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I also want to mention that these are leaked by Delta Index. Uh, check them out. He leaks them in his Discord. Uh, he also has a Twitter account. So definitely give him a follow and all that stuff. Because uh, without him, we wouldn't be able to get any of this stuff here. So the first one we're going to cover here is the Halo World Championship 2022 victory coating. As you can see here, it is a chrome steel armor coating, it seems like. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about it. I think it's a really cool coating. Now, this one I do want to say might potentially be a future Twitch drop once the World Championship happens. Um, so, I hope it is because it is a cool looking armor coating. But, yeah, that's the victory armor coating. So, on to the next armor coating. We got the on track coating. Now, this one I don't know if it's specifically an HCS coating, but we might as well just start in here. Uh, this is another leaked coating, but yeah, it's a blue and white coating. Uh, not too bad. But on to the next thing, we got an armor effect. This one's been leaked for quite a while now, but now we got an idea of when it's going to arrive. And these are called the Halo World Championship 2022 Victory Laurels, or Laurels, however the hell you say it. Uh, yeah, pretty cool armor effect, and then I think I think this one actually might be a Twitch drop uh, for, obviously, the World Championship once that comes around, because... Of course, I think most likely they're saving all the really cool armor coatings, all that stuff for the, you know, their biggest event. So it would make sense that this would be a Twitch drop there. Uh, it would be the first armor effects, I think, that we actually get as a Twitch drop, which would be nice. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. All right, so now we cover the, uh, the more general HCS coatings. Now we're going to get into the team bundles. I also do want to mention before we get into the team bundles, I do want to mention the diamond coatings. If you guys remember a while back, I actually made a video on it as well. We got the Gladiator Sidekick, which is the Diamond Sidekick. And a lot of people has been, have been speculating whether we're going to get the other Diamond Coatings as future Twitch drops. And I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I think they might be future Twitch drops. Uh, we'll probably see them down the line. Because we still got the Diamond BR, the Diamond Commando, the Diamond Armor Coating, and the Diamond Visor those actually all exist within the game but we don't really know when those are going to come out but those could be potential future twitch drops who knows i just want to point that out there so now let's get into the team bundles the first one we're going to be checking out here is the c9 bundle otherwise known as cloud nine and as you can see here they made a slight change to their uh coatings it looks relatively the same compared to their first one but, you know, they made a slight change. They added some gold to it, it seems like. Other than that, that's about it. A bit of gold onto their BR and a bit of gold on their armor coating. Of course, it wouldn't be a bundle without a charm. So they also got a charm here, which is the Cloud9 charm. And it's pretty funny because it's literally a cloud, which makes sense. But, <laughs> yeah, that's their charm. Moving on to the next HCS team bundle, we got E United. So we got the E United VR here, and as you can see, they actually got rid of the white because I think their previous coatings were mostly white. Like the base color was white, and then they had the what's it called, the red and and blue. Uh, but now they kind of got rid of the white, and instead for their base color, they're using more of a solid black. It seems like. So yeah, that is the E United uh, armor coating and BR. So of course they got their charm as well. So here is, uh, it's pretty much just, just their logo with the halo ring, it seems like. Uh, nothing too special there, but yeah, that's their charm, the E United charm. On to the next HCS bundle, we got the FaZe Clan bundle. And a lot of them seem to be getting rid of the white, because this one I think, I think FaZe had a lot of white uh in their br at least in their armor coating i'm not too sure but i know but i know their base color for the br was mostly white i think and then it had like red camo on it if i remember correctly but uh this time they got like more of a solid black and also more solid red colors on there and then of course their famous uh red camo on there as well 
But yeah, that's the phase bundle there, and of course they got their own charm, which I actually really do like their charm, it's pretty funny. It's literally just a phase lo- or not the logo, the phase, uh, their symbol thing, you know, that they do, the phase up stuff. Uh, I think that's pretty funny for their charm, that's cool. So now let's move on to the next bundle, which is the Fanatic skins, or armor coatings. Uh, well, armor coating and BR. But let's take a look at their BR, and <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I, I think it, I think the Fnatic one looks completely identical to their first bundle. So I don't know if this second bundle is gonna do it. Um, it literally looks exactly the same. I think the only difference they did was move some of the colors around. Like some areas are orange now instead of being black. Uh, so I, same with the armor coating. Like I don't see much difference, but. Then again, I don't even remember that much about some of the coatings and stuff, so I could be wrong, you know? Uh, but it looks relatively the same. Uh, it, it looks pretty much identical. I don't know what else to say. So, Fanatics also got their own charm, and uh, it's pretty simple. It's just their logo as well, just like the E-United one. Uh, although, they didn't get very creative. It's literally just their logo. At least the E-United one had, like, a halo ring on it, you know? <laughs> So on to the next bundle, we got the G2 bundle, and uh, this one does look a little different. I'm gonna be honest though, I think this one might be the same. I think they just moved around some of the colors and stuff. Uh, yeah, this is the G2 bundle. I can't say much about it because I really don't remember the first one, but I, I do remember their colors. That's about it. I just don't remember how it all looked. Uh, but yeah, that's the armor coating and the G2 BR coating. Now let's take a look at their charm i actually really dig their charm i i don't know i think their logo is just really cool you know it's literally like a samurai kind of thing but uh yeah cool charm we got the g2 logo there so on to the next hcs team bundle we got the navi or nave i don't know how to say it i think it's navi i mean i played zelda so i should know but i don't know i completely forgot but uh yeah here we are with the navi bundle i think theirs is probably the most different because before, I think it was just yellow and black, and now they have like sort of like a camo to it, and also added blue to it, I think. I could be wrong though, but yeah, I think theirs is the most different. I, I actually really dig this. So we got the BR coating, it has some blue on it now. Uh, yeah, the armor coating as well, it has like a camo texture to it, um, as well as some blue on it. Because so I think previously it was just like a, yeah, I think it was just like gold and black, and that was it. Their charms, though, like, I don't know, man. Their charms, there's a lot of these charms that are just, like, it's just their logo, which, I mean, makes sense. But, come on, man, flare it up a bit. Add, add a little something to it just for, like, you know, the halo feels. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the Navi charm right there. Alrighty, so on to the next HCS bundle, which I feel like a lot of people are going to like, is the Optic one. Now, I actually think this one, they actually changed as well. Pretty, like, they actually put effort into this one. I really do dig this one. Uh, so, they got obviously got more white. Uh, they still got their signature green, of course. Um, it's more of a metallic green as well. Um, and they, I think they also got, like, a few stripes on there. I can't really see. I'm going to be honest. I can't really see. But, yeah, I think they also got, like, a few green stripes on there. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And they actually got their own charm. And see, this is what I mean, man. Like, you could tell which orgs are actually, like into this you know like look at optic gaming you know they got their they could have just had their logo uh but no look at this you know they actually got their logo inside like a chief helmet like they actually put some effort into it like they actually care about it <laughs> is what it seems like is what i get from that all right on to the next org is sentinels which i know is pretty popular amongst people as well uh this one i i'm gonna be honest as well i don't even remember how the sentinels one looked before but yeah, I mean, I, I really do dig this as well. Um, I like the pattern, the red pattern on this one, I, I do like. Uh, I, I can't tell you if it's identical to the first one or not, or if they really changed it up or not. I really can't tell you because I honestly don't remember how the Sentinel one looks. Uh, the, their first bundle, I just, I just don't remember. But yeah, there's their BR, and we also got their armor coating. And holy smokes, I do gotta say, they literally have the best freaking charm so here's the charm sentinels charm and look at that see this is what i mean like this org clearly does care <laughs> and dude that is like the sickest thing i've seen look it's like a freaking cube i don't know it just looks really cool 
and of course they got their logo on there uh pretty sweet stuff man so on to the last team bundle is space station gaming and wow okay so here's another org that does seem like they actually care about halo um I, I, I shouldn't even be like saying that but you know i'm just saying off looks like they actually put more effort into stuff okay <laughs> yeah i mean this looks incredible i mean it's literally just a solid gold coating i mean it's literally just pure gold <laughs> everything's gold the br the visor the freaking uh coating i mean is there much else to say about it it's literally pure gold it's a sweet coating uh the br is also gold it seems like although it's not like a metallic gold which sucks and let's take a look at their charm here so the space gaming space station gaming charm here uh yeah it's literally just a solid gold thingy <laughs> they're really going out with the gold they like that gold uh yeah once again you know they they put a twist on it instead of just it being you know purely their logo they actually like put some more effort into it and they made like a little solid gold weight thing pretty cool so that wraps up all the HCS leaked uh, team bundles. I'm not exactly sure when they're going to come out. Uh, they are all called uh, like playoffs or whatever. Like they're all called like C9 playoff, E United playoff. That's what they're called currently right now. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know when those are going to arrive. But, you know, pretty, pretty cool coatings. Uh, I do dig some of the changes they made. Like the Space Station one, just having that solid gold is really cool. But other than that, that's about all the HCS uh, coatings we got. I also do want to make a quick mention as well. If you guys didn't know, this happened yesterday. Uh, we actually got new bundles as well for like the general HCS coding stuff. Yeah, we got a bunch of like BR coatings and stuff now for like the North American region. Then we got one for like, you know, Australia and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's about it when it comes to the HCS stuff. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the changes. Do you think the teams... Uh, made some great changes i think some like didn't put as much effort uh others like you know they actually completely changed some stuff anyways guys that's about all i got to share with you uh thanks for watching once again consider subscribing and liking it really helps me out um and i'll see you guys on the next one peace